Good afternoon. Welcome to Mass at St. Michael the Archangel Parish. Our celebrant today is Father Branson. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. This Mass is being offered for the intentions of the people of St. Michael the Archangel Parish. For more information about our parish our volu or volunteer activities, please head to our website at stmichael77.org or see our bulletin. The office will be closed Monday, Janu January 2nd. There will be no morning mass. However, we will have rosy rosary and I can't talk today. Sorry, rosary and commun communion service. Today's second collection is for the building fund. Please note, it is our custom not to leave mass until the choir has finished singing. As we prepare for mass. Let us silence our cell phones and observe a moment of silence. Please join in singing our opening hymn, Please Stand. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play for God on glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound sing a new song unto the lord let your song be sung from mountains high sing a new song unto the lord singing So children from your sleep, your Savior now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy and filled your soul with song. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty oh God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Thank you. 
give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race, the grace of eternal salvation. Grant, we pray, when we experience the intercession of her, to whom we were found worthy, to receive the author of life. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The Word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth. Among all nations, yourself. The nations of the earth you guide. May God bless us 
in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us. And may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen, for all they had heard and seen, just as it has been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Standing room only at the four o'clock. You guys must be all gonna go party hardy. I'm not gonna wake up feeling good in the morning. Or you just don't wanna get up in the morning. I think it's the first one. We are on the eighth day of Christmas. Today is still considered Christmas day. 
It lasts for eight days because we call it an octave and to show that it exists outside of human time. Kronos is human time. Kairos is God's time. And so with Christmas and Easter, we have an eight-day celebration of the same day, same prayers. We used to do Pentecost and a couple of others, but the church kind of dissed them at Vatican II. So they're not eight days long, but they're just one weekend. But to Christmas and Easter, we still keep that. And so on Christmas Day, we celebrated Jesus Christ coming into the world as a human being, Son of God. Today, we celebrate at the end of the octave the other person responsible for Jesus Christ coming into the world, his mother, Mary. This is the oldest feast that we have dedicated to our Blessed Mother. It happened in 431 in the city of Ephesus, which is modern-day Turkey. And that's when the Council of Ephesus declared that she is both mother of human and mother of divine parts of Jesus, and so she's the mother of God. In our first reading, the Lord told Moses after he implemented the priesthood that he wanted the priests to be between him and the people for certain things. Not everything, but certain things. And he, one of those was being blessing the people. And so at the end of Mass, we, you know, the Lord, may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is the blessing that they had in the, for that time frame and all the way through the Old Testament. And even Orthodox Jews today and regular Jews use this blessing. And a father will bless his children and his wife at the end of the day with this blessing. And sometimes at the beginning of the day. This is something that every father and mother should be doing with their children and grandchildren. Doing it when somebody, when you have family that leave the party, their dinner, whatever you have at your house. He bless you and keep you. Look in his face, shine upon you, be gracious to you. Look upon you kindly and give you peace. What more do we need if we get God's peace? We don't. If God's face shines on us, he's gracious to us, and we get his peace, we don't need much else. And in these turbulent times we live, God's peace is very, very necessary and very much needed because we let our minds and our hearts wander in places they shouldn't go instead of bringing them back to God. So we get together and we say, Happy New Year! And we don't have a clue what the next 365 days are going to be. Looking back, you say, Oh, I hope it's better than last year. Has anyone ever had a last year that was better than this year? Or are they all just bad? We have mediocre years, I know. But I don't want to throw you off. Party. Have fun. You only get to do it once a year. And from now on, the next holidays doesn't occur until Easter in the church. In a letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, our second reading, he tells us the story of Jesus coming. God sent his son, born of a woman, under the law, to ransom those from the law. The Jewish people were born under the law, the Ten Commandments. But their leaders had come up with 613 more that they had to practice every day. So Jesus, St. Paul says they were born under the law, the Ten Commandments, and to ransom those under the law, the 613. And he said, they are sons and they can call him Abba. They're no longer slaves, but sons. Today, we were going to reread the gospel about the shepherds, the angels going to the shepherds. That represents the Jewish people receiving the incarnation. Us Gentiles, it's epiphany when the wise men come. People are always asking, well, you know, what time frame, what year was Jesus born? When did the Magi come? When are the shepherds there? We're all very chronologically based, you know. We've got to have the time frame. You know, they get in the stand at the, the, ju the, ju the courtroom and they put you on the stand and they say, what time did it happen? And you can say, well, between January and March. They're not going to like that. So we, but we see that in the scriptures because they did not have the sense of time that we did. But in our gospel today, the shepherds were told at the moment of the birth of Jesus. He came for the Jewish people right then. Later on in his life, there was a time that he sent out the disciples only to the Jewish people. Then he himself to the Jewish people. But then over time, it changed because the Jewish people did not want him. 
So he changed for the rest of the world, which had been prophesied in the Old Testament. In our gospel, besides seeing the shepherds come, we see some things. First off, we see the shepherds getting to know Jesus and then running out and evangelizing, getting more shepherds, more people to come and see the Savior, the Messiah, lying under the star with angels around singing all the wonderful songs they sing, especially Gloria. You have the shepherds becoming angels, messengers of God, going out and saying, hey, we have seen the Messiah. He's born and with us today. We see that. We also see that Mary presents Jesus to the world. That's why we have so many feasts to her. But also Jesus introduces the world to Mary while lying in the manger. You know, you can't go see a baby and the mother's there and ignore her. You always say, oh, what a beautiful baby. Do you need anything? Is he eating well? Does he have colic? On and on and on. So you ask things of the mother. Well, that's the same thing with Jesus and Mary. Jesus introduced Mary to the world. Mary introduced Jesus to the world. Essentially, you cannot have a healthy love and respect of Jesus unless you have a healthy respect and love of Mary. So many people say, well, I'm for Jesus, but, you know, I don't need Mary. <clears throat> Tell that to Jesus at the last when he gets up there for the judgment. I need you, but not her. Uh-huh. By going down. So with Jesus, it always we have a saying in the church that to Jesus through Mary. Because Mary introduces the child Jesus in the manger. So will these two things help us get a grasp on what we should be doing for the new year? So many people make resolutions. I was just reading an article that was telling eight things not to do for dieting. Don't do these diet things, it said. Don't count calories. Don't have a 1,200 calorie meal. Don't give up everything except one kind of food. On and on and on. Or people, I'm going to exercise more and then what happens by March? You have a new clothes hanger in your bedroom or the washroom or wherever you put it. So resolutions. Our gospel gives us today two resolutions. First, like the shepherds, go and evangelize that you know Jesus, that Jesus is available, that Jesus is in the world, that Jesus wants people to have his peace. Everyone is looking for peace. Peace of mind, peace of heart, peace of soul. There's that bit thing within us that always tries to find God and his peace. And this is our chance. Those of us who know, we should be telling people, hey, I know the Messiah. I know the Savior. I know Jesus Christ. I was reading an article. This woman was raised by two biologist scientists who were atheists. And she took her little daughter, four-year-old, past a nativity scene. Her little daughter says, who is that in the crib? And her mother says, Jesus Christ. And the little girl started laughing. And her mother said, why are you laughing? She said, because that's what you say when you're mad. That's the only reason the girl knew that name, Jesus Christ, is because her mother cussed with it. We can help change that by going out and doing that. The second thing is by our lifestyle. Introducing the world to Jesus and Mary. Jesus first, then Mary. Because the world takes a little too, you know, when they get to know Jesus, it's okay, but it takes some groups of Christians or others time to get used to Mary. So we can do that for the resolutions for this new year. Evangelize just by telling people, hey, can I tell you about Jesus? You want to hear about the peace I get from knowing Jesus? And then introducing them to Jesus by our actions and our words. In an African village, in a, this missionary to uh, Africa was in a, one of the countries over there on the west coast. And he was talking about evangelization. He was talking about how they would send a person into a vill family into a village. And then one person sometimes, but sometimes a family. And he said they would just act like Jesus. They'd be Christian. And slowly the village would transform accepting Christianity. And it was amazing because some of the little children realized they said, wait a minute, that's already happening. We know a family in our village like that. So by our actions and our words, we can let people know Jesus is found within us. And if you want to know more, 
come to church with me. So two good resolutions we can have for this new year that actually will make a difference in somebody else's life and in our life, especially eternal life. God bless you. I believe in one God. mother of God is Mary's greatest title. In humility and faithfulness, she gave birth to her son, the eternal son of God, the word made flesh. Let us join her as we come to the Father in prayer. For the church reflected in Mary, that we may faithfully bring forth Jesus Christ in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all peoples under Mary's care, that in the coming year, that may know peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For the sick, the poor, the persecuted, and abandoned ones, that they may, may be consoled by our mother's powerful protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all families celebrating a new year, that they may share the happiness of the family of Nazareth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the departed, that God may grant them peace, especially the souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, please hear the prayers of your people. Gather to honor the most holy mother of your Son, our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. The goodness we have received, the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things, and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us, who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Most merciful Father, make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and blemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Gather your servant Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all those holding to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants who are living. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer this sacrifice of praise, while they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world. And in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse. Your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cassaginus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask you through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your son our Lord we are servants and your holy people offer your glorious majesty and the gifts that you have given us this pure victim this holy victim this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life the chalice of everlasting salvation be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, sight of your divine majesty. To all of us who through this participation at the altar, we see the most holy body and blood of your son, that be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, place refreshment, light, and peace. Trust also your servants who are those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you in their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Misere nobis. Take 
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
This is Scott. He's the Dark Knight. <laughs> Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. We rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go with the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seek no ruinous souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored 